Welcome to the Lightning Fast series with Informatica Cloud. Today we're going to talk about doing a migration using the Informatica Cloud. The migration is, uh, can happen in several ways, but two main ways. Migration into an empty system is where you generally you'll replace an on-premise app uh, with something like Salesforce and you want to migrate the data out of the other one into the new one. Uh, this is kind of neat because uh, migration essentially becomes integration. So as long as you uh, consider that you're going to be integrating, you can use the same integration task. Um, and the first time you run it will be a migration. After that will be integration. What we'll talk about today is a little bit more complicated, uh, but really it's pretty simple still. Um, migration into a system with data present. So essentially you have existing data in both systems that may or may not match. Uh, now it's really only a couple steps. Uh, you want to synchronize first with the migration key. Um, then you want to migrate, but set up the integration during that migration. Um, and then you want to convert it to an ongoing integration. So I'm going to show you that right now. All right. So, uh, first of all, let me go ahead and crank this up. So essentially I have a Salesforce and I only have two accounts in there. I got Billy Bob and then, uh, Brian Plaster in here. That's me. Um, my SQL server application, um, I have Brian Plaster, but then I have two different ones. So the concept is in here, I'm going to add Billy Bob. Um, and then in Salesforce, I'm going to add the other two. So in Salesforce, I'm going to add the Ken um, and the other guy, the uh, habitual. All right, so that's how we're going to do a migration and then a synchronization. So let me walk you right through it. The first thing that we want to do is set up a migration key here in Salesforce. So I can come over here to customize accounts, fields, um, and I can create a button there. I can hit a new, new field. Um, I can make it a text type and this will be my migration key. So we'll go ahead and name it uh, what it is. Makes it <laughs> makes it easier. Migration key. Let me get rid of the H. All right. 100. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this an external ID. Now this allows me to upsert against it, um, which I'll show you in just a minute. Uh, now I'm going to make another uh, key and I'm going to call it, let me finish uh, making this field. I'm going to call it my integration key, right? So uh, my another new field under a custom field is going to be a text type. And it's going to be my integration key. I will right, make him 100 also. Now this is where I'm going to store the uh, identifiers from my um, other system. All right, so it's gonna, in this case, it'll be a database key. It might be a mainframe key, whatever it is. Um, I'm not going to make an external ID right now, but I will in a little bit because the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upsert into Salesforce and set this with a database ID for my migration. Then when we do integration, we're going to come back, click this button, and we're going to upsert based on a database key. Um, the reason is because the migration key is going to be some text. We're going to try to match up data. Um, for example, it's going to be like a, we'll do account name and zip code, which is not super or not 100% accurate, right? I mean, it's the best you can do when you're migrating or when you're matching data, but when you actually do integrations, you want to do it by IDs because it's quite a bit, um, well, it's 100% accurate. All right, so uh, we'll, we'll cover this topic a thousand times here in this next uh, five minutes, so let's go ahead and do it. Now we've added these two new keys, right? The migration key and the integration key. Um, we're gonna go into Informatica Cloud uh, and do a few tasks. So the first task is we want to grab all the information from Salesforce accounts um, and essentially into a file and then put that data back into Salesforce and create our migration key on the fly. All right. So it sounds like a lot, but it really is pretty easy. We're going to do uh, get account data for migration key. Um, and I'm going to grab this data out of Salesforce um, account. So there's that right there. And that's going to simply take all my account data. And I could have done a lot of stuff. But I'm just doing one at a time here. And it's going to put it all into some text files called migration underscore account. And if I had several objects, migration underscore contact, whatever it is. Um, that's all we have to do for this uh, first step. And we'll go ahead and run this guy to get him rolling. Now, um, that was our data replication servers. Now we're gonna do data synchronization. 
So we're going to take that file and we're going to update back into Salesforce, but we're going to create that migration key on the fly. So let's do this, uh, create migration key. Um, we're going to update because remember that data is coming from Salesforce into this file, which has the Salesforce ID in it. So we can update by that ID to make sure that we can create the migration key. <laughs> so that's, that's definitely a mouthful. But uh, you know, this, this concept works with, you know, the five records I have or five million. So whatever you're looking to do, um, it's not a problem at all. So my source, uh, of course, is going to be, I'm going to pick the migration account that we just made. All right. And it looks like they're already run. I have my two um, files or my two entries from my account record and I have the Salesforce identifier. So I'm going to take those um, accounts and I'm going to put them into back into Salesforce. Remember we picked update. So I'm going to put them back into Salesforce account. Um, and then when I get to my field mapping, let me clear all these out. All I'm going to do is I'm going to update by ID, right? So there's the ID and then in my migration key, notice it's an external ID. I'm going to put together some kind of sequence um, to help me match data. Now uh, it's different in every organization. Uh, a pretty standard one is taking things like the name um, and then the uh, postal code, right? And putting them together. And so it would be Billy Bob 7777 or whatever it is. And so this will be my migration key to going back into Salesforce. And then the concept is once I have that migration key done, then when I'm coming from my SQL Server system or whatever backend system it is, I can then match in Salesforce and try to find the records that are the same, right? So it's a pretty cool concept, right? So I got ID and that one record. All right, so let's go ahead and save this and we'll run him. Um, and we called him create migration key. So let's go ahead and run that guy. All right, and this will, this will create those migration keys. Now, once the migration keys are created, and we can go take a look at it. Um, essentially, well, let's go look at it right now. So let's go uh, into Salesforce, so that'll be done in just a second. Uh, I can go into my account, and I can look at, for example, the Billy Bob account, right? And my migration key is gonna be, it's gonna be Brian, or Billy Bob, and it's going to be 8888. So let me refresh this. It's probably done by now. All right, so Billy Bob, 8888. So that's my migration key. All right, so that's now that's set in these two records. All right, let's go back to the Informatica Cloud. Let's make another synchronization task that now takes all that data from SQL Server. SQL to salesforce.com accounts. Takes all that data and upserts based on that on that key, right? So this is a pretty neat thing. We're going to upsert. We're going to grab data from our SQL Server setup. Uh, pick those customers, right? I have different customers, but there's uh, the Brian Plaster that it's going to update that. It's going to insert these two. All right, so that's pretty neat. So let's go on the target. I'm going to now take, we're going to go from that SQL Server. We're going to upsert into Salesforce accounts. And the field mapping. What we're going to do is here's our migration key, right? We're going to take our address. Oh no, we weren't taking address. We're taking our name, customer name, and our zip code, right? And then we're going to upsert based on this. So it's going to find those records in Salesforce that match the ones in our SQL Server. Remember, our left side is our SQL Server customers, right side is our accounts in Salesforce. So this is going to match them based on that. And if it matches them, um, it's going to update, but really we're interested in making sure we insert. So let me take uh, the rest of this and just map it over. There's my city, all right, my state, my postal code, these are the phone number. Um, all right, I think that's it. Now, Remember we've made that other key called the integration key, right? It's not an external ID yet, but it will be. So let's go ahead and take the database identifier and copy it over here, right? So essentially what we're doing is we're looking up things based on the name and then zip code. If we don't find them, we insert new ones. If we do find them, we update them and add this customer ID. And that way, when we upsert right from customers to accounts later on, we do it by the customer ID and integration. 
Um, that way we're doing it by IDs instead of uh, the concatenation of data.